This is Tom Cristiano for the Chelmsford News, and I'm at the South Chelmsford Agway with uh, the co-owners. Was it right to call you a co-owner, yes, Lisa? Co-owner with her husband, Manny. This is Lisa Bagulis. She's a co-owner of the Chelmsford Agway, doing a great job here. We love Thank your you. farmer's markets in the winter, Lisa. Glad you do. How many years have you been doing the farmer's market now? I just finished up my eighth year. Eighth year already, wow. Mm -hmm. Time flies. I remember when you guys first bought this place. Yeah, back in 2010. Wow, time just zips by, does it? Yeah. And the farmer's markets are going well, right, Lisa? Yes, very well. Wonderful. Thank but. Today we're here at the South Chelmsford Agway because the chicks arrived today, the little chickens. So Lisa's going to tell us all about them, right? You have, how many chickens do you have today, Lisa? Um, today's order I picked up at the post office, 230 chickens. 230 the chickens, wow. You have them in a few boxes in your car. <laughs> wow, 230. And you sell them here, people could pre-order or you have some that they could come in and yes, buy in the next week or two? Yeah, it's they half, might have some? half and half, like half are pre-orders and then half I have easily a hundred extras. And right. They're only three dollars and ninety-nine cents a piece. Three ninety-nine. That's yeah. fantastic. And then they they grow up to be big chickens. That laid delicious eggs. Laid delicious <laughs> eggs, and uh, a lot of people are into this chicken harvesting hobby, right? Yes, a lot. Husbandry, every whatever you call it. Every year it's been going up and up how many I order. Yep. Maybe it's because more organic and healthy. It is. The eggs are just such a difference between store-bought eggs and their own eggs. In fact, they taste so good. Yeah, and yeah. somebody told me they, like you, I think you like having the chickens kind of as pets, right? They Don't are. your chickens, what do you have, like 10 of them or something? Yeah, I have 11, and they're getting older now. Uh, they're like 8 years old. 8 and, I have another batch at 7. 8, eight and 7, wow. Uh, yeah, and the more you handle them when they're small, the friendly are they are with you. Like if I go out in the backyard and I let them out from in my garden, I have one that will come over and jump on my lap. Wow, yeah. nice. Yeah. So it's fun. You enjoy, it you fun. love your chickens, it. right? My chickens, yeah. Oh my, you've had them for a while. I know. Gee, nice. Yeah. So could you tell us a little bit about these sure. chicks you have today? Maybe you could point out, we, you could see, uh, what would you call this? A, not an incubator, right? But a, a, a brooder. A brooder, I see. Mm. And you have this nice warm, warming lamp, lamp there. Yeah, because when they're just like, a, these chickens are only probably two, three days old. Two or three, that's all, two or three that's days all. old, wow. That's all. And most of them, we hope, were females, right, to lay the eggs yeah, and everything? Yeah, 90% accurate. 90% accurate. Female. Nice. Yeah. So today you went over to the post office on yep, Brick Kiln Road yep. to pick them up. them up, and you brought them over here. Let me know, and I came right over to do this video. That's right. That's so, awesome. <laughs> so could you tell us about these chicks, sure. Lisa? So like these, tell me if you could see it. Yeah. That is a Buff Orpington. That's like your typical big golden chicken that lays big eggs. You'll and get, I see, you know, oh, that's five good. A week at least. That'd be one for the families who really want the eggs yes. for breakfast every morning or something get one of those golden yep. chickens and then these that look like little penguins these are called black australorps nice and they will really good layers big big eggs and this chick believe it or not when it grows up will be completely black no yellow it'll be such a deep black that in the sun it looks like a purplish black wow and people Very like sturdy. the black what color are those eggs well, well do you know they light, light brown, brown? Yeah. and they're good size eggs big do you eggs. think oh good yeah, good yeah. and what are they called i'm sorry black australorp oh my god yeah <laughs> and then we have mixed in here see this little ones if you could see it yeah. they have feathers going right down their legs that's a frizzle Oh, and nice. Mini so, so the, oh, mini ones. Mini so chickens. they would have mini eggs, right? They will have tiny eggs. So, yeah, we have a few colors here. Here's a yellow one. You can see the feathers on the legs. Yeah. So people have those mostly as pets, not... Well, they, they, well, no, they, they lay, lay eggs. the eggs, but they're they small, eggs, small eggs, right? Small eggs. It's small just eggs. a matter of how many eggs does it take to make scrambled eggs with tiny chicks. Yeah, yeah, eggs, I see. Right? You just need a little more, a few more eggs. A few more eggs. That's nice. All, but they're good layers, too. Nice. So that is that breed. And if you come oh. over here with oh, me, we thank have some you. more. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. We'll take a little break now. Thank okay. you.